Family Theater presents Rod O'Connor and Barbara Rush. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents The Hand of San Pierre, featuring Barbara Rush as Nana. To introduce the drama, here is your host, Rod O'Connor. Thank you, Tony Lefrano. Family Theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we're to win the peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family Theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family. And now to our drama, The Hand of San Pierre, which features Barbara Rush as Nana. Next bill, it's a farmhouse about a kilometer down the road. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Joe Smith. Smith? Yeah? You're next. Oh, next farmhouse is your billet. Get yourself together. You got five days, no more, no less. Okay, Sarge. All right. Here it is coming up. <laughs> they call this here a farm? <laughs> Stay put, Smith, till I make sure this is the place. Pardon? Oh, this the Colbert farm? Uh, oui, monsieur. Oh, oui, c'est un sergent. Uh, oui. uh, pardon, monsieur le sergent. We are waiting for one soldier. You got your papers? Uh, oui, from the American headquarters in Avranche. I'll get them here. Hey, it does it well. I'm going to fill my canteen. Headquarters, base section, zone of communications, hey, Sam, authorization for uh, one. Me my canteen too. Where the okay, devil does it say? Okay, here oh, it yeah. Goes. yeah. <laughs> The hand of Saint Pierre. Oh, Why the oh, devil God. don't you watch it? Oh, what's made of truck a canteen, Sarge? Oh, I couldn't see in the dark, Sarge. Here's your papers, Pop. They're okay. Smith! Right here, Sarge. Oh, oh, I didn't see you in the dark. You got your duffel? Right here. Okay, we'll pick you up in five days. Here's your pigeon, Monsieur Colbert. Okay. Roll it. This way, monsieur. I will show you where you will sleep. Anoui? Yes. I am coming to bed. Uh, the American is in his room? In his room. In his bed? Uh, yes, in his bed. And now let us sleep, Marie. Mm, sleep? How can you sleep with such a one under the same roof? It was not he who broke it. It was broken by them. It was so small, hardly a square of glass more than 12 inches. It was the hand of St. Pierre in beautiful blue and red. Mm, or so the salesman from Paris told you. It was. Uh, oh, Marie, shall we not go to sleep? You will feel another way tomorrow. Perhaps, perhaps we will have no tomorrow with this one here. Marie. <sighs> I shall sleep with one eye open. As you like. And tomorrow night, two eyes open. Hmm? Uh, what is so important about N tomorrow? Nana comes home from Avranche. Oh, yes, I forgot. Her mother never forgets. Especially with this dangerous one here. Ah, oh, Mary, shall we never go to sleep? <laughs> Henry, what time is it? Eight o'clock, less a quarter. You are sure this is the time for the American breakfast? Yes, for all America. Hmm. Three eggs will be enough for him? The tray will be full. Hmm. Two rolls, butter, brioche, milk, eggs, apple juice. Voila. I will come with you, but you will carry the tray. Oui, Henry. But softly, not to make him angry if he's still sleeping. 
Do not awaken him. This is usual before eating. Oh, not here. He's gone? The window. Yes, there he is. Where? There in the apple orchard. Ah, oui. Henri Goran, ask him if something is wrong. Are we late with the breakfast? Maybe he waited for us. <laughs> Monsieur, Monsieur l'Américain, Monsieur l'Américain. Hello, sir. Uh, I, I have been searching. I've just been looking over your orchard, some mighty fine trees. <laughs> you know apples? Well, sir, I was raised on apples. I'm from apple country. We grow better apples than anywhere in the whole U.S. Bald ones, delicious, Macintosh. Ah, Macintosh. Uh, of this one I have heard very, very much. It, it is a good apple, no? Oh, you bet. It looks a little bit like this one you got growing here. Can I pick it? Oh, but yes, pick as many as you wish. Uh, here, this one. Yeah. yeah. You see what I mean? Macintosh is a little broader, but... Well, this is a pretty one, too. What do you call it? This is my best, Binet Rouge. But I have Muscadet, Douze Amers, Renet Aubry, and many, many which are good for cider. Cider? Well, I thought you only made Calvados. Oh, no, 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 no. A cider, too. Much, much cider. Well, so do we. Vraiment? Like us, then? Well, sure. Pop bottles it. Sells it to the city. Yeah. We, too. You preserve it, too? Of course. Sulfur dioxy. Well, Pa uses benzoate of soda. Uh, both are good for bittersweet apples. They're the best. You sure know your apples, Monsieur Colbert. <laughs> you also, Monsieur Smith. Well, <laughs> that's a... Uh... A small world when you get to talking apples. Uh, for friends, the world is never big. Boy, I'm glad to be here. And I am happy you are here. And uh, now, breakfast? You bet. <laughs> well, Marie, what do you think of him? Huh? Hmm? Uh, come, Marie, confess that you were wrong. Why? Because we are not yet with our throats cut? No, because... Or because he is so wise to not eat as a pig? No, Marie, because he is a polite boy with good manners at the table. Uh, you mean with his no more rule, Monsieur Colbert. His thank you for this and thank you for that and thank you a million. What is wrong? The words do not come from the heart. Marie. Has he offered to pay? For the end of Saint-Pierre? Oui. Is it not broken beyond repair? But he did not do it. His comrades did, no? Oui. Oui. And I do not trust this one either. These ones who call out like crazy in the middle of the night, yelling and breaking mm, windows. But this one has not acted so. He's not one of the soldiers in the village. Nevertheless, he is a soldier. Perhaps a soldier in our home is no longer a soldier. And perhaps he is. Uh, maybe I will go to speak to him some more. To know him better. Bon, it is time to realize that you are Nana's father. <laughs> St. Pierre, what happened? An accident, Nana. Your papa will tell you. Oh, but you were home early for the weekend. Well, there was not much for us at the hospital. And also, it is good to be away from the city. Away from the Americans, you mean? Americans? The soldiers. <laughs> but they do not bother us? Nana, we were compelled to take one into our house. One what, Mama? One American soldier. <gasps> Wounded? No. A fighter who comes for five days to rest. Oh, is he an old one? He is a soldier. Oh, then he is not young. Soldiers are without age. Oh, then he is not very, very old? Listen to me, Nana. The less you have to do with him, the better. Uh, yes, Mama. Where are you going? To say hello to Papa. He is in the orchard? Yes, with the American, which is safe. And you will please to come immediately back to the kitchen where I need you. Oh, oui, Mama. I will hurry back. <laughs> down there. Oh, oh, you, what are you doing up there? Making me a very particular apple. Oh, you are the American. Yeah, who are you? I'm Mademoiselle Colbert. I'm looking for my... Your father. Well, wait a minute, I'm coming down. Oh, 
Hello. Hello. You do not seem to be shouting. Huh? Or shooting. What do you mean? <laughs> or fighting. I don't get it. Oh, my mother thinks you are, or how do you say, off? Me? What did I do? Oh, she speaks of shooting guns in the night and shouting. Oh, 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 she must have met the fellas last night. Oh, we just came out of the big battle at Mortain and they, they were sort of feeling good. And you too, monsieur. Well, I wasn't exactly sleeping. Look, couldn't, couldn't you just call me Joe? Joe? Oh, yes, if you like. You want me to help you look for your father? If you wish. You know, your ma and judge G.I.'s by what she saw last night. I'm sorry about that broken glass. Mama paid almost 1,000 francs for the under Saint Pierre. Oh, it must have been kind of beautiful. To her, holy. Her beautiful stain of blue and red and white. Oh, but it is gone now. Perhaps I have said enough for one evening, and perhaps it is time for sleep, no? Oh, it is not so late. It is almost 11. Evening sure did fly. Uh, uh, Joe, uh, tomorrow is Sunday. Would you like to go to church with us? I sure would. Uh, C'est bon. Eh bien, uh, Marie, uh, shall we go to bed? Oui, it is time. Nana? Oh, oui, Mama. Good night, Joe. I didn't understand much of the Vesters, but I got the spirit of it. It is the same feeling as now. Yeah, quiet, peaceful. It's like this at home when it's just beginning to get dark. And yet, they are fighting only a few miles away. Nana, we could be walking down the road alongside my pa's farm. Is it so much the same? Not the same sounds. The evening air has that same soft feel. And the same moon? Oh, that's for sure. You heard that? The bird? Oh, no. No, thunder. Is it going to rain? That was artillery, Nana. Oh, yes. Yes, I really knew. Uh, uh, there is a passage here in the fence, just here. The path goes through the north orchard. It is closer up to the house this way. Here it is. Oh, she smells good here. Like home. It is the apple blossom. Gee, the air is still. Yes, it is. Do you, uh, you have to go back now? No! Oh, well, we, we can sit on the porch. Mama will be happier. Wait a minute, Nana. Do you also, like your ma, think that I'm too, I'm too... Rough? Yeah. Oh, I do not think so. Then you think I'm... Okay? Yes. Oh. Nana. Nana, before we go back... Yes, Joe? Nana. Joe, you are staying only five days. Two are gone already. Oh, no. Three are left. Nana, I... I... I do. Then I'll come back, Nana. And I will wait. Marie, is Nana at home? Not yet. She has probably gone to look for a letter. Why are you so certain that the American will not send one? Because it is already four months since he went away. Hey, Mama! Papa! Huh? It came? From him? Oui. A letter? Oui. Here it is. Oh, the letter, perhaps. But he himself will never come. I promise. The promise of a soldier, my little one. Dear Nana, I can't tell you where I am. But as you told me the night I left, this is the most beautiful city in the world. Someday we will come here together. 
I know it was sort of dumb, stupid of me not to say what I wanted to before I left, but the words were strange and hard to say. But at last, I've got en enough courage to say that I... Oh, Mama! Mama! <laughs> It is almost half a year since the letter. Letters are slow in time of war. Forget him. He is a soldier. It is as hopeless to wait for him as for restitution of our hand of St. Pierre. Dear, who can this be? I will see Papa. Uh, Colbert? Uh, Nana Colbert? Oui. I'm with base headquarters out of ranches. Buddy of mine got a letter with one for you enclosed in it. From Joe? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Joe Smith. Oh, merci. Very, very much. Oh, that's all right. My... Mama! Oh, break my back, but Texas was never like this. Look at that pot-bellied stove, Joe. Shove off her. Hi, Zach. Say, uh, Fitz, is Foxhole one word or two? Ah, oh, right to the little gal in Normandy, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, see, I meant to tell you guys, you remember that window you broke? Yeah. Nana writes that her ma sure thought a lot of it. Oh, come on, Joe. Just cause you're sweet on the gals, no reason to worry us with a little old broken window. Yeah, what's one window more or less in a man-sized war like this? Fall out in ten minutes, you guys. Oh, uh, my God. In this weather? All right, let's I've go. I've only got ten more minutes, Nana. And we've got some sort of job to do. It seems hard to make my real thoughts reach you across the whole length of France. But with the help of an earnest prayer, maybe this letter will reach you to tell you that I will come back. It is the most peaceful Sunday, Marie. Every year, the distance from the church is more. Well, let us take the short path, Mama. Sometimes I feel as if the good Lord is angry with me. Mary, you have been feeling this way so foolishly ever since the end of Saint-Pierre. Perhaps it was an omen. I wrote to Joe about it. Joe, he was the beginning. Mary. Do not stop my mouth, Henri. This Joe Smith will never come back. Just as my hand of Saint-Pierre is forever lost. You must learn, my little Nana, to love wisely. A soldier's kiss is always given lightly. Now, a farmer. But, Marie, the boy was a farmer. Perhaps, but he was not a Frenchman. But still a farmer. An American who knew more about the apple orchard than many Frenchmen. Perhaps, but what does it matter now? Why do you talk as if you were not coming back? As if you were... Oh, you are not feeling well again, my little one, but we are here at home. We sit down. Huh? Papa, I would... What is that white in the door? It looks like... It is a letter. My dearest Nana, although everybody Nana, thinks that, that the, the war, war will, will be, be over, over soon, soon. We, we are, are deep in Germany now. The going is as tough for my outfit as it ever was. Hey, Joe. Huh? What? What? Are you really fixing to marry that French gal? I'll lay off, Fitz. Well, I'm not poking fun, Zach. I'm mighty serious. If I ever get out of this, I'm sure gonna ask her. Why? Well, I don't know. It seems kind of strange having foreigners for family. Yeah, but I sort of thought of it the other way around. What do you mean? Well, ever since you've been writing to Nana, I sort of stopped thinking of her as being a foreigner. Uh, I guess that's why I really asked you, Joe. Don't seem right now to forget about breaking that religious window that Nana's mother was so partial to. Oh, forget it. Money can't repair that sort of thing. Besides, whoever sees a thousand francs all at once. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Just don't seem right no more. Hey, you guys, we've been alerted to move. Walking? Not riding this time, behind the tanks. Ah, good. Where away, Sarge? See that church steeple? Man, that's a cathedral. Well, whatever it is, that's where we're going. All right, let's get up on We're moving again, Nana. Another city to take. Cities are tough. About coming back to Normandy. The rumor is that as soon as the shooting is over in Europe, we'll be sent off to the Pacific. Somehow, instead of getting close...
And so again, we have defeated the Germans, and the Japanese are also defeated. Please, Henri, the rocking chair. Oh, forgive me, Henri. I did not mean to speak sharply, but ever since the armistice, I am annoyed by small irritations more than before. I understand. Uh, poor Nana. When she is unhappy, we are twice unhappy. I do not know what to say. She will no longer go to the hospital. She will no longer take an interest in the house or friends in Avranche. Only to wander like a lost one all day in the orchard. It is not good, Henri. I, too, begin to think he will never come. I am sure. But why? To me, he seemed like one of our own French boys, intelligent, polite in the house, and I think gentle with our Nana. Are not boys the same over the whole world? And are not the homes of families the same also? No, Henri, you ask only because you will not open your eyes. To see how one American conducts himself is to learn about all Americans. Oh. How can you forget the end of St. Pierre? On the afternoon, the sun entered there through our doorway as blue, as red, as white, like the color of the holy glass. And see there now in the door where was my hand of St. Pierre is only an ugly piece of wood. An unfortunate mischance, Mary. Mm. It is getting cold outside. The sun is sinking. No, no, you must not worry so. It is nearly October. Uh, they have heard nothing at the headquarters in Avranche. Mm. They tell nothing. No. Perhaps it is better this way, my little one. Uh, Nana, there will be others. And you knew him for only five days. Oh, surely I you seem could... to have known him all through the war. Even to have been with him. Helping him to live through a year. It is not easy. Oh. What is it, Nana? I, I just thought I heard. Heard what? It is an American truck. Oh, is it possible? Of this course is, it is this possible. Is... Did I not say all the time that it would pass? Oh. Possible. Nana. Oh, sure. Nana. I was afraid all the way that... That I would not wait. Yeah. Oh, and I. But you would not come. Well, I declare. Turning the sunset over everything. The others, too. Oh, you're the ones who call out there, yell, and break windows. Hello, Monsieur Colbert, Madame Colbert. I guess you can see how glad I am to be yeah, back. Of course, Joe. Yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hey, fellas, come here. I want to introduce you. Uh, this is Private Fitzroy Davis. Ma'am, I thought I'd never smell anything so sweet as Texas orange blossoms till I came to Normandy. I'm deeply honored, Monsieur and Madame. Yeah, and this is Zach Williams. Hiya. Enchanté, Enchanté. Monsieur. Uh, shall we go in? Uh, it's cold. Uh, after you, ma'am. Oh, no, 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 no. You go first. Oh, no, ma'am. Ladies first. It's an old U.S. custom. Oh, merci, Monsieur, but... Where is Nana and Joe? They done snuck off. Uh, they will be back soon. Go in, go in, all of you. Thanks. Madame Colbert, uh, Zach and I brought this package for you. Oh, for me? Yeah, a little something fits and we picked up in the last German city we took. Uh, here you are, ma'am. Go ahead, open it. Uh, we were riding fast behind a tank. Yeah, see? the center of the city was our objective, a bomb cathedral. Uh, the windows was broken in a pieces no bigger than your fist. Well, except one piece, sir, laying in the gutter where it would have gotten smashed. Oh, no. All... Mon Dieu, it is a hand. A beautiful stained glass, more beautiful than the other. Another Saint Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Marie, they did remember to bring it back. Oh, yes. And Joe, too. He remembered to come back to our Nana. Yes, I thought wrong of him, too. <laughs> then now, <laughs> you are happy, Marie, oh, eh? We? No, I, I do not know whether to laugh or cry, Henri. I am not sure. Only, now we lose our daughter. No, Marie. We are gaining an American son. <laughs> This is Rod O'Connor again. Every one of us has several friends, acquaintances, or relatives of whom we can say they bring the very best out of nearly everyone whom they meet. In other words, some people draw us up, make us feel finer, more humane, more kindly, more inclined to merciful and understanding interpretations. It's a treat to come into their presence and to be associated with them. 
We know that there is a better side to us than the one we usually present to the public, and these more special persons seem to be able to bring to the surface this better nature of ours. The interesting thing about such persons is, I may add, that they're not professional uplifters, professional cheer-uppers, life of the party vitalists, much less are they backslappers. They are just extremely honest natures, and something genuine in them brings out by association and contact something genuine and therefore fine in us. I thought I would mention this observation not because it's an original remark of my own, but because it has a relationship to family prayer. The little prayer of one kind or another that a family group says together at mealtimes or in the evening or when some crisis necessarily calls for our praying together. When we actually pray to God, we are always revealing to ourselves and the others of our family all that's best in us. This revelation is a byproduct of prayer, but it's important because it's contagious. It affects a confidence in each other. It restores to the family what may have been lost by the friction of living close to each other. And so as we are drawn up to God by prayer, we're drawn together by prayers also. The vertical threads in our life fabric lock together the horizontal threads. And family life profits by this closely woven texture. No wonder then is it that the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you The Hand of San Pierre, featuring Barbara Rush. Rod O'Connor was your host. Others in our cast were Gene Bates, Stan Waxman, Tommy Cook, Howard Culver, Billy Baucom, and Ed Chandler. The script was written by Arthur Weiss, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed for Family Theater by Joseph F. Mansfield. This series of family theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of program, by the mutual network which responds to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who give so unselfishly of their time and talent to appear on our family theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lofrano expressing the wish of family theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home and inviting you to join us next week at the same time when Family Theater will present Jeff Chandler and Jane Wyatt in the Kitty Story Story. Join us, won't you? <laughs> Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network, the Mutual Broadcasting System.